just not, got done. I'm not thinking about that right now. I'm thinking about the loss and uh, how disappointing it was for us and the fans. I thought, um, I will say our fans, I thought were phenomenal tonight. And uh, even when we were down, they gave great energy. I thought our guys, um, I, you know, we obviously came to play. Um, I didn't think we played very well offensively. And, you know, though they shot 50% from the field, I thought a lot of that was from our, our bad offense. So, uh, for me, that's really disappointing. Doc, when you look at this series as a whole, what do you think, besides Blake injury, were the key um, factors for your team? Listen, they beat us. Um, I'm not... Um, you know, not having Blake obviously is a major wound. When you know you take uh, your best score, uh, your second best rebound, your second best passer off a team, uh, but but give Utah credit. Uh, I mean, they won the series. They uh, we fought our butts off. Um, you know, Q did a, a fantastic job. Um, I thought it was a well played series. Uh, I thought both teams. Wasn't a lot of junk, if you know what I mean, in this series. It was just hard-nosed, physical, tough basketball, uh, the way we all like it. Um, you know, so they won the series, and, and I think they should get the congratulations, and there's no excuses. We lost. Doc, what did you see as far as how the Jazz defended Chris tonight? Well, they trapped him a lot. Same thing they did last game, to be honest. Um, you know, we didn't get away, and, um, you know, we didn't. We just didn't move the ball great as a whole group. I thought CP was great overall. I thought he got a little tired. Um, you know, I thought a couple guys did. Um, um, in the first half, um, you know, we had Raymond at the table trying to get Austin off the floor because he, had, you know, clearly he, he was out of gas. And, um, you know, we just had such a short rotation. Uh, it was very difficult. But um, I thought they did a great job trapping, and I didn't think we did a very good job after CP got rid of the ball of attacking back. I thought uh, we lost our trust a little bit. We would catch it and throw it back to CP instead of attacking. You know, uh, that was disappointing. Doc, kind of the same question, but in regards to JJ not really being able to find yeah. a stride in this series. He just didn't. Um, you know, we didn't try to get him going at times. You know, I thought instead of fighting it, use him as a spacer. Um, you know, obviously I would have loved to figure out a better way to get him going. Um, you know, we got a basket for him late in the game tonight. Um, yeah, it was a tough series for him. But you have those, you know. I, if I've learned anything, you know, I've had them with Ray Allen. With Someone has a bad series and, and the other guys pull the toe. And uh, we didn't do that for him, you know. When one guy's not got it going or they're doing something to take him out, you hope what they're doing will allow somebody else to score. Um, and we, we didn't do that. Did Chris tweak an ankle yeah. in the third? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes is the answer. You guys started the season 14-2. Do you think you ever got back to that same team? No. I mean, it's tough to get back to that team with the injuries we had, you know. Um, I thought we were close, you know, right before the season ended. You know, um, you know, Chris missed all those games, and then Blake missed those games, and then we went on a seven-game win streak to end the season, and I thought we had finally caught our stride. Uh, you know, I, I liked how we looked going into the playoffs as a whole. Uh, and then obviously Blake goes down and, and you're back to where you were. So the, the answer would be no. Uh, I guess the closest would be at the very end of the season. I loved how we were playing. Um, but it is what it is. Hey Doc, what's your outlook on this core group staying together moving forward? We'll figure that one out. You know, I'm thinking about the loss today instead of uh, the summer. I'm sure everyone will have their own suggestions, uh, you know. We've been reading about our obituary for about three months now, so uh, I'm sure everyone will have that. Uh, with regards to that obituary that you were just talking yeah. about, there's been so much focus on that this season. Yeah. How much, if at all, do you think that was on players' minds as they were trying to deal with this? I really don't think it was on their minds much. You know, I don't know that personally. I'm as a coach, it wasn't on my mind uh, at all. I like it. What does that do for us? We have the next games and stuff like that. So I think it's a great conversation for everybody outside our locker room. I don't think it's a conversation we're having in our locker room. I can say that. 
Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.